How you doing? So, uh, interesting day. I was just want to say thank you to everybody that liked the videos, commented, shared, and followed us. It's a shame that you have that it has to be something so horrendous to get people's attention. I wish that my I only wish that my YouTube channel about mental health could get a following like that. So for anybody interested in that, the channel's AC coming back to life. Give it a subscription, give it a follow. I've just started it. It's about mental health. It's about smashing the taboo of mental health. But that's not to do as uh, as as Govan Hill. So I got a call today from someone who knows me, someone who's on my side down here, who said certain people have already been made aware of your video and they're unhappy about it and they're quite notorious, quite dangerous individuals and I've been warned to stay out of Govan Hill. I'm a marked man. So I took that information uh, I took that information on board and uh, uh, you know and here we are back in Govan Hill. <laughs> of course. So laughing and joking aside uh, Here's somebody's front garden uh, because they, they put the, the food out the window. You can see which window it is. Just here, the food waste hanging on it, uh, the napkins and stuff. So instead of using the bins, they just put it out with no consideration for any of the other neighbours. And this is a very, very common theme. Uh, and, and, and that's the bottom line of that. So, uh, and, and if you think that's just a one-off, by the way, you know, there's the next garden. All right, there's the next garden with the same food waste. Uh, and there's the next garden with the same food waste. And the same other kind of waste. So, yeah, don't be under any illusion that I'm only showing you the bad bits. I, I, I'm not a... Uh... So, yeah, so so basically uh, someone who, who knows a lot about what goes on down here has said, Alex, you need to be careful. Certain people have seen your video, they're all talking about you and so I've been here probably 10 minutes and now there's people pointing and they know it's me. I bought myself a disguise today in Sports Direct, I bought myself this hat, it was 5 99 it was half price, 50% off. So I treated myself to a nice woolly hat with a bobble so that I stand out like a sore thumb. If I was going to hide, if I was living in fear and if I was going to hide from child molesters and pimps, and uh, women beating abusers, I would wear a face mask and hide behind that. But I'm not hiding from them. I want them to know I'm here. And I want them to know why I'm here. Here's another garden. All right, this is just random. Uh, this is just the norm, basically. I need to watch because there's a lot of kids everywhere just now uh, because of the school run. So I need to watch where I'm pointing this camera. So I'll turn it away from me because you don't want to see my cooping. So, I don't know what this is. Now, here's an interesting thing. I've had a lot of messages. Uh, last night's videos have been viewed over 50,000 times. So, they're getting about 3,000 views an hour, thereabouts. My maths isn't the best, but uh, it's round about that anyway. And... So, it's, yeah, getting about 3,000 views an hour. And I've had messages from people offering me some help and stuff. And can they come with me? No, the answer's no, right, guys? Categorically, the answer's no. I appreciate it and, I, and I'm grateful for it. But you, but no, if I'm down here, I'm down here myself. And uh, I'm not going to be responsible for anybody else's safety. I'm aware of myself and uh, I know my limits. So, okay, so last night I was down here and I put a video on. And it's pr provoked a massive response. Uh, why have I done it? Because it's bo because it bothers me, and it bothers me enough that I'm going to do something about it. And I'm back again, and I'll keep coming back, and I'll keep coming back, and I'll keep coming back, and I won't go away. It's not just a, it's not just something to pass the time for a few days before Christmas. So. Uh, I'm going to, I came down here in the daytime because I want to show you, it's, it's not all bad, it's not all bad, however it's it's not all good either, you know there's more important things going on just now, uh, uh, that, that you know you might say, uh, 
oh, it can't be that. It can't be that big a problem. I mean, I mean, surely the authorities would do something about it. Well, the proof is in the pudding, always. And the answer is there's nothing getting done about it. So I've had hundreds of messages from from health, yeah, from everybody. But a lot, I've had a lot of messages from health workers, right? Who I won't name, I won't screenshot messages, I won't break anybody's trust, right? That's not what I do. But uh, they've so a guy's messaged me today. Been in the game a long time. I've checked out who he is. It all adds up. He's a he's a health professional. And as recently as just a couple of weeks ago in Govan Hill Health Centre and in other places and other hospitals and uh, other GP clinics in Glasgow in this area, there's been children treated, five and six year olds treated for anal and vaginal tears. There you go. Okay? Now if that's not making you sick just now and spit your dinner out, then there's something wrong with your brain. Because I know how it makes me feel. And I've got kids, I've got two sons, 8 and 12, so they're in that age bracket. They're in that targeted age bracket for these people. And uh, I know how it makes me feel, okay? That's why I'm down here. I could be getting on with my life like everybody else, sitting watching the telly, working, doing my other, you know, going and doing other things and just accepting this and saying, oh, somebody else will deal with it. Nobody's dealing with it. What's, what's wrong with people? Nobody's dealing with it. Nobody's, nobody's acting like it's happening. But it is happening. It's happening everywhere. It's probably happening in every street in Scotland and England. To some level. And you, can, you I know for a fact people will say, I know, but it can't be that bad. It can't be that massive a problem. It's a gigantic problem. It's an absolutely gigantic problem. And uh, so, back to the messages. I've had messages for construction guys, telecoms engineers, gas guys. They're not allowed down here as individuals. They've got to come in twos. They're not allowed down here after a certain time of the day. They're not allowed to work down here in the dark. They're not allowed in certain closes. It's all there on my phone. It's all there for people that I don't know. They're strangers messaging me. And certain residents down here who I know are telling me the police will not respond to certain crimes that are called in because it's a part of the, the culture. Now, I'm not racist. I've got pals all over the world. Every creed, colour, kin, whatever you want to call it. Don't give a shit. Uh, there's two guys pointing at me out of the van. What is it? <laughs> Aye, I know you as well. <laughs> pointing right at two of them, pointing at me at the same time, eh? Ought to, ought to be famous. Bothered. So, uh, yeah, so, so, tradesmen messaging saying, Alex, you need to be careful, really dangerous place, you know, da, da, da. They're all carrying blades, they'll use them in two seconds flat. I get it, I understand it. Believe me, I get it. Uh, I'm not, I'm, I might be a bit reckless at times, but I'm, but I'm not stupid, I'm anything but stupid. And I know I'm getting, I know I'm getting watched, and I'm probably getting, probably getting followed. But, uh, you know what I mean, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't do anything about it, it's just going to keep happening. Sure it is. So what I was thinking to myself was I'm going to try and get somebody who I can't unfortunately identify MD but I'm going to get somebody that's been here long term, a business owner uh, they're, all living in, they're all living in fear There's the bin lorries trying to get down that I spoke about last night having to move all the stuff out the road Let's go and talk to them Let's go and get a chinwag with the bin men because they do a hard job, these guys. So we'll try and get a bit of chat with them and see what they say. And this is live, so this will tell you. This will tell you that I can't, uh, like, make it up. We'll get it for the horse's mouth. 
These guys have got some job, man. <laughs> uh, basically, basically they can't speak, right? He's asking me at the window, he's like, mate, we can't talk about this, and that's the truth. I'm not even going to put his face on camera, right? I'm just going to respect him. He's saying that they can't talk about it. They're not even allowed to discuss it. Yeah, he's doing the sign across the neck, you know. I can't, I, can't, I can't talk. So that's fine, that's fine. I know what the crack is anyway, because if had been been message me, and they, they get very, very specific criteria for down here. Uh, I mentioned last night about about kids selling stuff. There he's running away, right? Now this wee guy here's offering people crack. And there he's running away up the stairs. Right, he's offering, he's bolted up the stairs so anyway. Uh, he, was, he was here again last night, offering people stuff. He looks about 12, maybe 13. He's no 14 anyway, he's about 12 or 13. Uh, this is the, this is the kind of safe zone. Victoria Road's a safe zone. This is the tip of Allison Street. And it's in the daytime, so it's busy and it's and it feels uh, it feels safe, it feels like a different place for it does last night. So fifty thousand views. Hopefully that'll increase and increase and increase. And someone might start taking notice of what's going on down here. But uh, I don't know because I need to turn this camera in because I don't want to filling people inadvertently that don't want to be filmed. Not that it's a, uh, not that it's an offence you can kind of film anything you like these days, but you can't film kids. Well, you wouldn't, I wouldn't like MD filming mine, so I'll not film MD else's. So here's what I'm talking about, right? Uh, you know what I mean? And basically... <laughs> He's punching his hand there and pointing at me as if he's going to do something. Blah, blah, blah. So they live in intimidation, and this is what these guys practice, right? One of the guys in the middle there, I know exactly who he is. Uh, and the reason I know him is because he's got extremely extinct eyes. Distinct eyes, sorry. Extinct if he wants them, maybe. <laughs> he's got very distinct eyes. There's three of them. There's three of them walking behind me. You'll see them behind me. Uh, he's got a very, very distinct eye colour, which is unusual for for his ethnic background, for his ethnic group. He's got piercing greeny blue, almost vampire-like eyes. So I know who he is. He knows who I am as well. And of course, he'll have seen that video today. So I'll be all the bad guys. Uh, but I'm not the one selling children. So... Here's, here's more, this is another front garden uh, and you can usually look up and you can usually see which house uses the front window as a bin shoot and they just throw it out the window uh, and it's somebody else's problem at that point, usually your your neighbour down below uh, we'll get in this close, I've, I've got a habit of walking in closes and seeing what I walk into I don't know, none of this is staged obviously, I'm here myself, uh, nobody's expecting me, blah blah blah, this one isn't so bad, let's check the back court. You're allowed to walk in closes even if you don't live in them because they're uh, multiple occupancy so you're not committing an offence, oh these are actually quite nice. So there's obviously residents that have been here long term and take a bit of pride in it, however they'll be hampered by the one or two people that don't care that get moved into the building and stuff and very very rapidly devalue their properties with their destructive behaviours and their, their other their other behaviours you know and it's a shame it's a shame because at one time this was a, a really really top area uh, where's my pals where's my fan club they're standing on the other side of the road staring at me smiling smiling at me so they must be they must be happy to see me uh, as happy as I am to see them. So you'll notice a you'll notice a thread here and a trend where every garden looks like this. Now let's let me put this into perspective. 
I've read a couple of comments and people are saying, oh, poor, poor people and poor this and poor that. I've been all over the world. I've been in Africa. I've, I've seen poor, okay? And in the, one of the poorest countries in the world, Sierra Leone, uh, one of the poorest countries in the world, people live in mud huts with t corrugated tin roofs. Now, they're not even guaranteed water on a daily basis, never mind food. But I'll tell you what they do. They make a brush up and they take pride and they clean their... They clean, their, they clean their front garden. Uh, so don't say poor people. Right? It takes two seconds to put litter in a bin and bag it. And put, so they don't care. They don't care. This is how they live. And they'll, they, they'll destroy anything about anything that's good. This is a culture. For anybody that's not been in Romania, it's a culture. There's a big, there's a big rat there. Big giant rat just ran across that pathway there. Uh, daytime rats. Dog shit everywhere, needles, condoms getting thrown out the windows. Uh, if you think I'm lying, I'll zoom in on it. I don't really want to put anybody off for dinner. But it has to be shown. It has to be shown. Dog shit everywhere. Dog shit everywhere. Uh, closes. You know, every single close in this whole place has had the... Uh, the secure entry kicked in, smashed, vandalised, and the councils just, or the factors just stopped fixing them. This is every garden, right? Every garden. Every close. It's a destructive uh, place. It, it must destroy people's, you know, general well-being and health to, to, to have to live here. Especially good people that probably bought property uh, and historically lived in this area. And they're now probably stuck here because the properties are unsellable. They're absolutely unsellable. Who's going to spend 30, 40, 50 grand in a two bedroom flat down here when you know it's not going to be worth half of that and that you, you cannot guarantee who's going to live next to you and what's going to be getting on? Uh, and, and, it's, and it's in every block in this area. I need to, I need to watch where I'm waving this camera because there's, there's school kids about the place in a. And I don't want to upset anybody. I'm, I'm kind of thinking about trying to get somebody to speak. A resident, some older people, or a lollipop lady, or somebody like that. Uh, I don't really know. I'll need to have a think about it. Does anybody really... If people write comments and stuff, tell me what you want to see and I'll show you it. I'm coming back doing it night time anyway. Night time's the, the time to be here because that's when, like, 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 uh, like rats, they love the dark. So the, the rats that live down here come out in the dark and congregate, and that's when the, that's when probably business at, is at its peak. Uh, that de that video's definitely doing the rounds. There's five, six guys across the road now, and they're all staring right at me. My boy, my ass. Uh, there's no bravado here, right? I'm no, I'm not down here to, you know, if it happens, it happens. I'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But, eh, uh, nah, I'll just, so what, you know. They're, I mean, I'm not easily intimidated, but there, there is an intimidation, there is a level of intimidation when a group of five men are staring at you. It's no nice, eh, uh, it's not nice, you know. This is just a, basically every street. This is uh, in the con, in the constituency of the leader of this uh, country, I believe, the first minister. I'm not not really. That's not really my agenda. I'm not going to go into that argument. Who's to blame? So folk will say uh, 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 that it's not their fault, and who is they? The people that live here. Well, it is. It is because. If it, if it, you know, if 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 one person in a block is is a is keeping their garden clean, and the person across the land is throwing human waste and uh, condoms and sanitary towels out a window into a front garden, what's the point? What's the point of cleaning your? What's the point of cleaning? So everybody ends up getting dragged down, and the answer is this. Right now, this is a close. Kids live here. Children live here. 
Now look about you. Right, it's a shithole. Here's a guy in a van waving a canny. He, he's waving because he's he's doing a hands gesture that tells me he's watched a video that I've posted. Uh, this is just another random garden. I'm not showing you the same garden over and over and over. I'm showing you new gardens all the time. Uh, and this is it. And see what the giveaway is. What the, the giveaway is that the locals who I'm talking about walk past this stuff and don't shake their heads. They walk past it as if it's absolutely normal and absolutely acceptable. And when you go out these back courts, the business owners that own all the takeaway shops waltz through them at the end of the night and pour the oil into people's gardens. This wee guy's followed me all over Govan Hill. I'm, I'm, I'm videoing everything that I see. Don't worry about it. On your way. Uh, this wee guy just, you know, follows me about the place. He's like a wee lap dog. He's obviously their tout. But... The, the, unfortunately the video needs to take place We can't no video We can't no video the place And I can't take a backward step uh, or, or it's pointless me even being here If I'm going to If I'm going to show fear And be in fear Of anybody down here uh, Property for you Criminally negligent rogue landlords I don't think landlords are the problem So here's just another random garden. Again, it's no, it's, I mean, look at this, it's just disgusting, right? But kids are expected to play here. So if you're bringing them up in that, then they start to believe that this is the accepted norm. It, 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 they normalise it. Right, they normalise it. I'm definitely getting followed, by the way, so I'm going to, uh, if I'm if I'm if I'm confronted by anybody, right? If I'm confronted by anybody, I'm obviously going to put the camera off because I don't want to incriminate myself uh, for my response. I don't know. Am I am I right? Am I wrong? Tell me. What's the feedback? Am I right or am I wrong? Should I be here? Is it anything to do with me? Is it my business? My opinion is it's everybody's business. It's everybody's business. Eh, and nobody's doing anything about it. Because if you live in a half decent area, you say, it's not my problem. And then you put on another box set and tune into Netflix and order a pizza. And the bottom line is, the bottom line is, in every single block in this area and all over this city, there's children getting exploited by dangerous, dangerous individuals who instill fear in the community so no one will give them up, no one will go against them, no one will stand up to them because of the retaliation, the threats of violence. Uh, you watching me live? Good, cheers. Uh, how you doing? Are you watching me now? <laughs> cheers. What's your feedback? What's the I'll not put you in camera, it's on me. What's the feedback? What's your feedback? So use user, user, I'm not, just so you know, it's on me, right? So what's the place like? Right, how bad is it? How dangerous is it? You can go and get a Chinese fucking dictator in here and they still win the Right, nobody would fix it. So you, you know about all the child exploitation, child trafficking, everybody knows about it. Guys were taking the back court, fucking where the guys were, where the wee guys were doing shakes out the tap flat, doing a shake out the window, man, tap flat. Yep. And what about the, what about the, the, what about the suggestion that there's brothels in every street here where you can procure children? We, we know there is, aye, we know there is. No, it's not for me either, that's what I'm here for. Cheers for your time. Thank you, see you later. So uh, they bin me, while they're doing the bins, they're obviously watching me live. I've walked by and they've recognised me, so they're having a laugh. They're nice guys, they're just doing their job. They have to wear certain types of gloves because of the volume of needles and human waste. So, if, for instance, where I live, there's human waste near a swing park and you call it in, they've only got like an hour or two to respond and they have to send out the environmental health with immediate effect. So in the last three weeks, there's a pile of human waste up there at the corner of Calder Street and Gart Fern Street, is it? Gart, Gart Turk Street. Uh, human waste, soiled nappies, bin bags full of them. 
like literally a dozen bin bags full of nappies, which is maybe, what's a baby use? I don't know, I can't remember, it's been that long. I need to ask the, the boy's mum, she would know <laughs> better than me. Uh, so I would reckon it would take you a month, or no, a couple of weeks to fill a bin bag right up. Yeah, maybe a week. So say there's 10 bags up there, so say it's a few months. So they've had them in their house, right? Probably on the landing. And then they've eventually threw them out the window, which it looks like to me, and dropped them on top of each other. And as they've hit the ground for three or four storeys up, they've exploded. So the nappies are everywhere. Now they've been there for three weeks. Where's the environmental health? Why, are, why, why is this area any different to East, East Kilbride, Newton Mearns? Barhead, anywhere else, why, why is this different? Why are environmental health not coming down here? Well, the answer is they don't come down here because of the intimidation and the fear. You're not going to find a council worker, right, on a salary that's going to come down here and go in and question a business owner on his practices of waste. Where are you putting your waste? Is it, they're not going to do it, they're too scared. I know they're too scared, right? And I might, and I might appear reckless. I might appear reckless, and you might say, he's an utter, he's, he's off his head. Say whatever you want, you don't, if you don't know me, you can't judge, right? There's like times in my life, I have, I have been reckless, absolutely. But this is a problem that's not going away, it's getting bigger. And children, once, once damaged once, damaged for life, simple as that, right? They don't get the choice, they don't get the option. Damaged once, damaged for life. The damage is done. That's eternal. It's forever. And it's rife. And it's all over this city. And we know about it because we're getting made aware of it. Well, with all the celebrities and all the people that we idolised as children. Your Rolf Harrises, your Glenn Michaels, your Jimmy Savills. Now they're all being outed for what they've been doing for decades and getting away with it. And they've been doing it live on television. Right in the face of the public. And the people that paid their wages knew all about it, but because they sold television, they were allowed they were allowed a license to a license to do as they please. And most of them die unaccountable. But down here, the people that are orchestrating it are the type of criminals at a level that they basically control this entire community. And I don't know if I don't like mentioning Police Scotland. Uh, I don't know if they have got a handle on this. I don't believe that they have at all. I don't believe anybody knows the scale of the problem down here. When I turn, every time I turn a corner, right, there's men staring at me directly that know me. They know me and they're staring at me and they're talking about me and I'm supposed to feel fear and I'm supposed to be intimidated and I'm supposed to run out of here. I'm not running out of here, I'm walking about it and I don't care. I do care, that's, that's not what I mean, I've got kids, I've, I've got to provide, uh, I've got to think of my safety, but I want my kids to know that never live in fear, never ever stand and accept injustice, and never stand back and just watch and do nothing. If I can teach them anything in life, I'm teaching them that. That's the best education they'll ever get. And look, there's somebody, right? made an effort down here, look at that lovely little display, lovely little shop, right, somebody with a lot of pride, and uh, I would probably put money on it that they're paying somebody down here uh, a racket of some sort, you know what I'm talking about, so aye, uh, there we go, there, there it is, I'll be back down here at night, I'm going to go and, I'm going to go and train for a wee half an hour somewhere, and then I'm going to get my dinner, and then I'll be back, and uh, as I say again, thanks for the the views, thanks for the offer of help at a phone call there from my mate John at the K9 Way and John offered to show me a bit of support. I says I don't I don't really want to bring anybody here. Uh, but there's my pal, there's my pal back staring at me. Funky eyes. I'll go this way and I'll head back now. I'm not turning about for any reason, they're actually here. I'm walking back by them again. Aye, blah blah. So, yep. Interesting, eh? And it's happening on my doorstep and it's happening on the grand scale. Now, in the next few days, I'm going to reveal some more interesting stuff about the Roma community in Govan Hill. 
and I'm going to talk about the vans that I mentioned last night, which is the big jumbos, which there's 10 in every street. Now, they arrive back here at 6 or 7 in the morning, and 20, 25 guys climb out the back of them. Where have they been all night? True story. Literally dozens of these vans return to Govan Hill early hours of the morning, and when they open their doors, out of the view of cameras, street cameras, they, how you doing, thanks, cheers mate, thank you. Uh, they basically open the back doors of the van and 20, 20 young guys get out. Now where have they been all night? Well, where are they? They're, they're working in back street businesses, uh, illegally, three, four pounds an hour. They're staying in bed sits here, multiple occupancy bed sits, HMOs, two, you know, one or two or three bedrooms, split into five, uh, split into four, so a bedroom, uh, you know, 18 feet by 18 feet, they're big down here in Govan Hill, split into four, three or four bunks high, so it's like when I was in the Marines, when you stayed up, when you went to sea, you were three or four bunks high on the ships, it was horrendous, right? And if you jumped in your sleep, you headbutted the guy in the bunk above you, <laughs> and that was the life, you know, back then. So it's the same down here, they turn bedrooms into HMOs illegally, no smoke alarms, no fire, no landlord checks, and they, they, nothing, it's just... I've seen it and I know what happens. There's 20, 25 people down here staying in two bedroom flats. Now, at which point, there's a lot of adults mixing with a lot of children. And you know what happens? You know what happens? Right, I'm, I'm in my 40s, our generation, there's a lot of this going on. Uh, and and we, know how, we know how easily obtainable access to children is. And if you've got 10, 12 kids staying in a flat, and people are intoxicated and drugs and all the rest of it. it you, no one needs to spend too much time thinking about what's going on. We know what's going on. See, see down here, right? See when you sometimes look at these Roma kids, uh, you see their faces. There's fear written across their faces. They're getting dragged around down here at 11 and 12 o'clock at night by parents, wherever it is they're going, right? And. The word spreads quick down here, by the way. Every single person in this place is staring at me. <laughs> it's a good thing I've got a broad back, eh? Nobody knows me but me. My back is broad enough to bear it.